Hola! What is up everybody? This is the Phoenix, flying into the moment once again to deliver peace, love, and awareness to you and all the beautiful people out there. Today, <laughs> what we're going to be talking about is shaman stories, and I'm not sure if I want to turn this into a natural series on my channel. Probably will once I start integrating tarot more into the channel, but um, yes, I want to talk about the energy of the shaman, right? Now, who are the shamans, or what is the shaman? In uh, Native American astrology, you have the sign of the snake, which aligns in Western astrology with the sign of Scorpio, which I happen to be a Scorpio. Now, I believe everybody has the energy of the shaman uh, in them. However, in Native American astrology, and those who are born under the snake, Many of these people grew up to be the shamans of their village. Now, the shamans were those who were able to discern the future and see into the future. They were the ones who were the dream interpreters. They were the ones who gave the rites of passage to those who wanted to go on their spiritual journey. They were those people, right? They were the ones who were more connected to the etheric and spiritual realms. They had an innate understanding of emotions or where they come from. They had an innate understanding of nature and an appreciation for nature and can see the many symbols of nature and can absorb the energy from the animals around them, the plants around them, and so forth, right? Shamans, very connected to the earth and the spiritual realms at the same time. In many ways, they provided that sort of gate to it, right? So we all have this shaman energy inside of us. Now, um, most people experience this. Everyone experiences this energy through our dreams. The reason why is because the dreams in many ways is the gate to the etheric or spiritual realms. It's the fourth and fifth dimension, right? What happens though is that a lot of people don't understand their dreams. They're just images that kind of flash by and they just sort of or a passive uh, participant in their dreams, they don't necessarily know what's going on and then they wake up and they forget, right? However, I highly, highly, highly urge you to start keeping a dream journal or to do something to start remembering your dreams because it is in those dreams that you're going to start becoming more and more aware of your current reality and what's going on, your emotions and your subconscious, because that's what dreams are all about. They're about the emotions, they're about the subconscious, they're the magic, there's the mysticism. It's about bringing to light what's happening in your day to day and weaving it in a very beautiful way, right? So as someone who lucid dreams, you know, two to three times a week, I can say that the rest of my dreams are equally vivid, but for me, they just sort of like appear in like a movie scene type of thing. It'll flash from this scene to this scene to this scene, but it's very vivid and colorful, and I can choose to interact with it if I want to. But for the most part, whatever I'm seeing, I just know that it's symbols for things that are happening in my, li in my life, right? So, regarding this shaman and energy, I just want to put off a forecast, so to speak, of the energies that are coming into the world at this time. Blockages that you aren't aware of, blockages that you thought you got past, are going to start rising to the surface. Now, why do I say that? Why would I make a claim like that? When I don't know who you are, I don't know your experience, I don't know what you're feeling right now, I don't know your emotions. You're drawn to this channel, you're drawn to this message, but I don't know who you are. So why would I say something like this for the general populace that people are going to start experiencing blockages that they didn't even know they had? Well, it's kind of like this. While it's true that we all have our different experiences, our different collective karmas, our different energies that we have put out over the course of our lives and past lives, we each have a garden, so to speak, where we have planted our emotions and our experiences and our different things, our different aspects about ourselves, right? So we all have different gardens. Some people might have daisies in their garden. Some people might have sunflowers in their garden. Some people might have, you know, roses. 
So we might have lotus flowers hanging on the lily pads in a murky, you know, lake, so to speak. Everyone has different stuff growing out of their garden. Some people might have cannabis in their garden, <laughs> right? So what are you planting, so to speak? We have to be aware and conscious of what we're planting every single day because the energy is coming into the world. It's the same for everybody. The waters that come in over those garden are going to have a particular theme, right? The theme coming out right now is what are you hiding? What are your blockages? What are the blockages that you are hiding from yourself that you don't even know? Because I think a lot of people, when we came into 2016, we came in just charging in, right? Because 2015 was the year of revelation. It was the year where a lot of us did a lot of, ah, something got in my mouth. <laughs> a lot of us did a lot of like self-work, trying to super examine ourselves and trying to figure out why we're this way and why this happened and why we're this way and whatever have you. So this was supposed to be the year where we're taking off the mask and just charging forward. But a lot of people have subsequently, and myself, I've experienced it, where I'm like running and then I trip, you know? And I'm trying to figure out, wait, why am I tripping? <laughs> why are you tripping? Probably because it's not over. You, you're not going to have all the cards immediately. You're not going to know everything. And you're probably never going to know everything because life is just one continual moment. And you're going to have experiences every single day. You're going to be building and getting past blockages every single day. But it's just a, but your success in this life depends upon how fast you can get past these blockages, right? So what's happening in the world right now, the waters are coming in and are flooding everyone's garden. And subsequently... The plants and whatever grows out of that garden are going to illuminate not only our purities, what we really want, what we really desire, but they're going to also illuminate blockages, ancient blockages that we have had, that we had no idea were even there. And it's very powerful, it's very numbing, and it can almost sort of just stun you. Because I feel quite frankly stunned after the dream that I had last night. Um, I'll probably talk about that in a later video. But my advice to you would, is to not allow this to completely paralyze you. Not to allow this to restrict you from doing what you know you need to do. My advice to you would be to meditate on this. And to... Talk to your guides, your spirits, your gods, whatever it is that you talk to, or not. You can just write it down, talk to yourself. That's equally fine. In fact, it's good for you to talk to yourself. I talk to myself all the time, every day. Apparently, it's a sign of intelligence. I had no idea, but apparently it is. So, my advice to you would be to meditate on this and to know that the waters that are coming in, the energies that are coming in for everybody are going to be revealing these blockages, but you have all the power and you have been given so many signs of how to get past these blockages really, really fast. Really, really fast. You can start manifesting things into your life. You can start manifesting your desires really, really quickly, right? So that's really it for these shaman stories that you can see I have fireball here, you know? Sign of the snake, Scorpio, all day. <laughs> but anyways, just let me know what you think. Please like, share, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Of course, remember to give me a booyah. And remember to find the goal in this moment where that is all that exists. And I will catch you all on the next video. Woo! Peace.